everyone, it's me, David. Today I wanted to make a new batch of soap. I wanted to try something new, uh, something I've never done before, and it's putting in the old pieces of some soap that uh, is left over from when you cut your soap and do your different bars and stuff like that. And I've got quite a bit of just leftover stuff um, from the soap, and what I wanted to do is just make a simple batch of soap and then sprinkle these little pieces into there to make cool designs and um, everything like that. So what I've done beforehand is um, I've cut these up into small pieces, small triangles, squares, different shapes, so that um, when we put them in, they won't uh, overwhelm the pieces or the bars of soap when we cut the final product. So let's go ahead and go through our checklist. Um, we've got our containers right here. We've got the lye, and then of course with the lye, we need the safety equipment. Um, and then we've got our oils over here, pen and paper, and then as well as a scale so that we can measure. And then we've got some cups for uh, measuring the lye and then the oils as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for our first oil, which is coconut oil, we've got 15.2 ounces. Our next oil is palm oil, and we'll want to get about the same amount of palm oil that we did with the coconut oil. So we've got 15 ounces of the palm oil. The next oil we want is olive oil. And we've got 8 ounces of olive oil. Okay, we've got 12.5 ounces of soybean oil. We've got six ounces of hemp oil, and if you use hemp oil, be, be aware that it will give your soap a slightly green color. And then finally, we've got 3.3 ounces of castor oil so that we can have good bubbles in our soap. Okay, now that we've got all of our oils, all we need to do is go and figure out how much of the water and lye that we'll need for this amount of oil. I've gone to Metaphysical Farms and used their free lye calculator and I figured out that we need 8.7 ounces of lye and then we need 18 ounces of water. So let's go ahead and get our safety equipment on and measure out the lye. Okay, so we've got our 8.7 ounces of lye now and um, we're just going to go ahead and mix that in with our water. Great. Now we've got the lye fully incorporated into the water and it has raised the temperature quite a bit. Uh, we'll have to let this cool down to about 110 degrees, but while we're waiting for this to cool down, we need to heat up our oils to be about 110 degrees before we can mix them together. Okay, so the lye is at 110 degrees now and the oil is at 110 degrees, so that's perfect. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is just mix in the lye into the oil now. So now that our soap is reaching trace, uh, what we wanted to do is add our super fat, which I'll be using two ounces of shea butter, and then also the colors and fragrances that we want to use. Um, I chose to mix in uh, a few different woody scents like cedar and juniper and patchouli. Okay, now that we have added our colors and uh, the fragrance and everything, uh, what we want to do is add the pieces to the, the mix here. And if you were adding things like flowers or, or something like that, this is when you would add that to the mix as well. And now what we want to do is just pour this into our mold. So now you can see that we've got this in the mold here. It looks pretty good. Uh, I obviously added a purple 
coloring to the mixture and hopefully it lasts. Um, blue is a really hard color to get to come through this saponification process. So we'll see what it looks like when we start cutting the soap. But all we need to do now is let this rest for two days. We'll probably want to cover it up with a towel so that we can uh, make sure it retains its heat and then we'll come back. So it's been two days and we can start to unmold the soap and cut it and then we'll let it dry for a couple days. So now we've got the soap out of the mold and all we have to do is measure the length of the loaf and figure out how big we want our bars of soap and divide that number to figure out how many cuts we're going to make to make the number of bars of soap. And once you've got your soap cut, you just need to let it sit and dry for about three to six weeks, depending on how much water that you put into the soap. And as you can see, it's fairly simple to suspend things within your soap. Uh, it's no different than the processes of making regular soap. So just go ahead and try different things. 